Hi, so um, in this little demo, I want to just go through the regular uh, Salesforce and Microsoft Teams integration. And I'm in a demo tenant over here, and you can see I'm in a team environment with Salesforce activity already going on. But just to very quickly jump to um, where you find Salesforce in the App Store, uh, as you can see, there's already an integration with uh, Salesforce. Um, but I wanted to focus in this demo on the new integrations that have just come out with Teams meetings. But first, just to show you, as you can see here, um, a Salesforce record has been added um, in a tab uh, to a, a team um, channel, Sales East. And as you can see here, it's an opportunity, um, all of the information about the opportunity here. I can even uh, make this record editable, as you can see here, and change parameters if I want to. I won't do that here. Um, I can also start a conversation with someone about this opportunity and have a chat with them. Um, so, But just to jump back to the post section and show you the other um, option, which is um, where... Uh, Sorry, there it was, start a new conversation again. Um, there you can see there's the Salesforce option when you start a new chat. And so you can see that you can um, you know, interact with Salesforce, find records. You can search all of the different record types in Salesforce over here. Um, and I'm not going to do that, but you know, you, my only point was you could start a conversation with a new record um, straight from the chat there. But what I want to do now very quickly is just jump to... Um, a meeting and what I'm going to show you is I'm going to just set up a meeting. I'll, let's call it Salesforce uh, test three because I've already done several tests. Let's just invite someone, Alex Wilbur. And um, so what I'm going to do here is just start that, uh, well, just uh, create that meeting invite. So there it is. And now when I go in into views from Teams, you'll see that I can add Salesforce in here. So I just need to find the app from there. And if I add it, um, then I start interacting with Salesforce and I can decide um, what I want to do. Now, I'm, you know, I'm still pretty new at all of this. Here you see a similar kind of view I showed you a moment ago where you can search records. Let's choose that same record because we want to, the assumption here is you want to have a Teams meeting with the customer. You want to discuss an opportunity. Obviously, the customer won't see that. So let me let me save that. And now what you'll see is that same view that I showed you a moment ago. Um, now, this is a part of the meeting. And again, this is all editable. I won't show you that. Um, but let's assume now um, that I want to join the meeting. And okay, I've I've made it with Alex. We're not going to wait for him to join, but you'll see I'll start the call right now. Um, and so now what you'll see in this Teams meeting is the this little icon here. Now I could have added that on the fly if I'd wanted to by clicking the Add App uh, option over here and adding the record there, but I did it beforehand because I wanted to be ready. So if I click that um, that little icon over there, you'll see that same. Um, You'll see that same record um, just in um, in the meeting view. So um, you know, I, Alex hasn't joined. Obviously, I'm just I've just started the meeting on my own. Um, I'm signed in as Megan over here. Um, the point is, you'd be having a call with a customer, and you'd see the record side by side. Now, one um, small downside is that these records are not editable. You'd imagine that it would be really nice to be able to edit them while you're on the call, not just view information about. Uh, um, an opportunity, for instance. So now hopefully you've seen how you can interact with a record in a Teams meeting. Um, what I wanted to show you now, we just got back to that um, option that you saw a moment ago. Um, and I'll just click the app there. Um, it's this option here, this pinning Salesforce um, meeting option. For that, I just, the only option I have at the moment is to connect accounts in Salesforce. What happens? is that you then arrive in Salesforce. Um, I'm logged in as Megan. Um, I can see here that I'm connected. I've connected Salesforce and Teams. Um, if I jump to the calendar view, here's an earlier um, view of the, um, 
of that same environment. What I see here is that meeting that I set up. Um, now, one downside already is that there's a there seems to be a, a replica of the meetings. I have no idea why that is the case. Oh, here they are. Um, so, so one is my events and one is Microsoft Office 365. Still not entirely sure why. Now, if one has limited functionality. This is the one over here. Um, all you see is a record of the meeting um, and that's pretty much it. If I just go back to the calendar um, and choose the other one, you'll see that there's slightly more options here. Um, and yeah, again, just the meeting options, as you can see, um, and the meeting digest. And this is where I'm assuming um, I can interact with the members um, in the organization further with the account information, um, other records. Um, and yeah, as I say, I'm not, um, you know, basically this is bringing the meeting into Salesforce where you can then do uh, much more. Um, and if I launch meeting from here, it starts a Salesforce meeting, which um, I guess is, you know, I'd have preferred it to have been a, a Teams meeting, of course. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you that. I'm thinking this is pretty new still um, and lots of work to do, um, but it's getting there. It's looking really good. Thanks for watching.